Hello everyone. Today, ooh, today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a jellyfish since we are learning about the letter J. So in order to do your jellyfish, you're going to need a white piece of paper and a black crayon. And then you get to decide what you want to color your jellyfish in with. I'm using watercolors, but if you don't have watercolors at home and don't want to use them, you can use crayons, markers, or colored pencils will work just as well. Um, if you are using watercolors, make sure you have your watercolors, your brush, your water, and I'm going to add a water texture to the ocean. And so what you're going to need for that is a little bit of sea salt. So that's what I have in this jar as well. I'm going to draw my jellyfish for you up here on the whiteboard so it's a little bit bigger so you can see it. So right now you should have your white paper and your black crayon ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna start up on the left-hand side of my paper, and I'm gonna draw an upside-down U-shape, just like that. And then I'm gonna draw a line down here that's slightly curved to connect the bottom parts of your upside-down U. Now I'm gonna give my jellyfish two eyes. My eyes are gonna be shaped like circles, so I'm gonna draw one on the left side and one on the right. One circle here and one circle here. And then I'm gonna draw two filled in black circles on the inside of his eyes. And you can make him look kind of silly, you can make him look in sideways, you can make him look up, that's completely up to you. And now mine is a happy jellyfish, so I'm gonna draw a little smile right there. If you want him to be a grumpy jellyfish, that's up to you as well. Now, I'm gonna give my uh, jellyfish a couple tentacles. I'm going to draw six tentacles. It's kind of up to you how many tentacles you would like to draw. If you draw six, just like what I'm doing, you're going to need to make sure you draw them skinny enough so you have room for all of them. So when you make your tentacles, we're going to start on the left side and work our way over. I'm going to start on the left side and I'm going to draw kind of a squiggly line. Then I'm going to come back up and I'm gonna go back up the same way I came. So there's one tentacle. Now I'm gonna draw another. Ooh, squiggly line, round it out on the bottom and then go back up. There's two. Squiggly line down, round it out at the bottom and come back up. Three. Squiggly line down, round it out at the bottom, and then work your way back up. Four. Squiggly line down, work your way back up. They don't all have to be exactly the same. And for my last one, I'm going to do that squiggly line down, round it at the bottom, and come all the way back up. And there is my jellyfish. Now we know that a jellyfish lives in the ocean. So let's add some details around our jellyfish to make it look like he's in the ocean. I'm gonna start by adding the ocean bottom. So I'm just gonna draw a line that's not quite straight, a little bit curvy. And so this is gonna be the sandy ocean floor. And I'm gonna add some dots all over my ocean floor so that when I paint it or color it in, it looks like it has a sandy texture. I have little dots all over there. And now I also know that there are some plants that grow down at the bottom of the ocean, like seaweed. So I'm going to draw some seaweed down at the bottom too. When I draw my seaweed, I'm going to start at the bottom by the sand. I'm going to draw a line that kind of curves like it's flowing in the ocean. And then I'm going to make it pointy at the top. And then I'm going to come back down. There's one thing to see, wait, and I'm going to draw a little line in the middle as a detail to make it look a little bit more like a plant. And then for my other seaweed, I'm going to draw a line here, coming up, and do the same thing. You can draw as much seaweed if you want. If you want a lot of seaweed, you can draw a lot, or if you only want a little bit of seaweed, that's fine too. Then I'm going to draw some ocean waves with some squiggly lines in the background. And then if you want to add fish or other ocean animals, that is completely up to you, okay? So that is my jellyfish. So now I'm going to come back over here, and I already drew my jellyfish in black crayon. 
It should look a little bit like this. Remember, we all make it our own special way, so it doesn't need to be exactly like this, everybody. And it's really up to you what color you want to paint your jellyfish. In mine here, I painted him purple, but you know, maybe on this time I want to paint him orange. So I'm going to start, I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit of water. I'm going to get my orange paint wet. All right, and then I'm just going to paint in my jellyfish. I'm going to try to stay in the lines. The nice thing about using that black is that it helps prevent your paint from running quite as much. I'm going to paint around his eyes. There I painted the body of my jellyfish. Now boys and girls, it's really important that when you're using your watercolors, if I want to go on to a different color, so now maybe I want to paint the seaweed, I need to get all the orange out of my paintbrush because I don't want my seaweed to be orange. So I'm going to rinse it around in the water here. And then when only clear water comes out of my paintbrush, now I'm good to go on to the green. I'm going to get some green paint on my brush. I'm going to paint the seaweed green. I'm going to try to stay in those lines that I drew for myself. This is a very blue green. And now I'm going to rinse off the brush again because now I'm done using my green. Now I'm going to paint the sand kind of a yellow color. I'm going to get yellow paint on my brush. Okay, and now this is the fun part. I'm going to start painting the ocean. I'm not going to paint the whole ocean for you. I'm just going to show you part of it. So you want to get your brush wet. And you're going to pick your blue. And I'm going to start up at the top. And I'm going to paint on some of my ocean. Okay. And now this is important to do when your paint is still wet. I'm going to take a little bit of my sea salt. I'm going to sprinkle it over the water. And as the paint dries, it's going to leave little bubbles in your blue paint. So now I'm going to paint a little bit more. Ooh, mm -mm, trying to get away from me. salt to the part that I just painted. All right. And you're just going to keep doing that until your entire painting is finished. So I'm going to show you what my finished one looks like. So here's my finished one. And if you look really closely, you can kind of see where the sea salt was. So once it's all dry, you can brush the salt off and you can see where the salt left little bubbles to give your painting some detail. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so thank you everybody for watching my jellyfish guided drawing. I hope you have a great day. Bye.